Hello everyone, Trigon here. Welcome back to Empyrean Galactic Survival. Don't forget, if you like this video, take that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So you can see there's been some changes. Uh, yet another solar panel was destroyed. Actually, all of my guns are destroyed. I put, uh, I put uh, uh, um, a second big gun in and it was destroyed very shortly thereafter. So when I replaced them both, um, I had actually also taken the two guns from inside and stuck them out here. All, all six guns. All four of the small ones and both the big ones are destroyed. When I rebuilt them, instead of using the minigun, I used the cannon. And that does seem to be a lot more effective. So far, I've not lost uh, anything else except the solar panel. I put this this in here. Here, I'll show it to you. Oh, you can see we got the, the, the door in. And I repaired that ship. I actually improved it a little bit, I think. But I put this in here because I thought maybe, you know, I would be able to use it as a bunker to shoot from. But it's just impossible to see well enough to shoot anything. So it's a nice place to come in out of the weather and be able to see what's going on outside. But it's otherwise useless. So this guy here, I decided to put an enclosed cockpit on it when I rebuilt it. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same. It had a whole oxygen system. Uh, and since I didn't plan to ever take it off this planet, I figured I was never going to need that. So I took that off to make room to do that. Because that takes up a lot more room than the old one. But, hey, it works. We've, we've got this thing working. Uh, we've got, uh, um, um, it enclosed now so we're safe from the elements. So, as you can see here, some things have changed here. All our workshop stuff is gone. Uh, we're really starting to have food issues, and so one of the things I need to get going on, and actually, let's go ahead and take a drive. One of the things I need to get going on is uh, is uh, getting a greenhouse going. I've already built the room, uh, but we do need to get, uh, oh, where... Yeah, you're shooting at something. Do I want to go down here? I think this might be it. Okay. Um, and we're going to need water in order to do the crop plots, so I've got this guy here and these two guys here sitting so we can... Okay. You can see they're still running strong. Hopefully this will be enough to make all the crop plots we need. If not, then we won't be able to do them all today. Uh, hello? Well, there we go. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, what you call it, the Xerox have gotten so they are attacking every morning now. As you can see, I got this set so it's easy to get this in and out of here now. I do want to I want to get some more of the big guns in there. Actually, I don't want to turn this direction. I want to turn this way. I got some more of the big guns. In, in, or I want to get two more of the big guns out there so that we do a little bit better. They almost destroyed on their attack yesterday. Uh, they almost destroyed uh, one of them. So I want to prevent that from happening. Got, next thing we're really going to need to be able to do uh, after getting things ready is I think it's time we need to get a small spaceship going. That way we can get up to asteroids and the moon. Oh, I closed off the the iron mine out there. I closed it off and dug an opening from here down into it. So that's the iron mine. That's also my stone quarry. That's where I'd be getting all the stone for building this. So yeah, as you can see, I've got a little door over here. We've got an elevator. I decided we're just a little too close to the surface. I didn't want to accidentally break out into the surface. Um, and so now we've got this little living space here, kitchen space, and we've got our greenhouse space ready to go. We just need to get crop plots in there and then get crops. And our workshop is over here. So what we need to do is, one, we need to get the greenhouse going. So let's actually go back over here. Oh, I need stone dust. Let's stick that in there. And do I have any stone dust? 
And the Xerox are back. Okay, let's get 200 stone dust going. And I found that it works best just to be personally active in these. They're early. Yesterday it was well past sunup when they arrived. It's not even sunup yet today. This is going to be interesting. Let's turn the light off. Looks like they're coming from that direction. Uh, what they've been doing lately is sending... Uh, sending uh, one or two troop shuttles and several drones. So there's troop shuttle right there. Wait, can I... Maybe I can help. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's shooting me from where now? Yike! Okay, they... Got him. So I've been liking to... Uh... Ah! I've been liking to get the resources from those things as quick as I can. Let's get inside. See if I can do anything from in here. Between the dark and the everybody everywhere, I can't see a dang thing. Um... If I wait, die. Ah. If I wait until after the battle to collect stuff, then half these things disappear. And I. And of course, we can kill Growler. Thanks. I really appreciated that. <laughs> what I've been doing fairly successfully up until today, probably because I'm busy talking. Uh, what I've been doing fairly successfully is running out, uh, home base, is running out, uh, stealing the stuff out of a drone and then using the drone as cover, uh, to shoot at the, uh, okay, I want to harvest that, got him! <laughs> oh, and here's another thing. Like I said, I wanted more guns up here. And we had some pretty good luck. We had some pretty good luck. Not bad. Only one death growler. Yeah, thanks. Well, how about you do it next time, then? I don't think it works that way, growler. Um, I'll come back to it in a second. I want to get this drone. Uh, you, you probably noticed, or maybe you noticed that uh, I flattened all of that. You remember in the, at the end of the last game when I set up that, that base on the other planet, I realized that the, uh, the MCRN uh, defense point was actually pretty nice because it was pretty much self-powered and everything off from solar. So I flattened this all out. I would really like to build one of those and place it right up here. Uh, oh, oh, got the jump jets just in time. Okay, Growler's hungry. Uh, I probably don't have much in the way of food. Uh, okay, let's go on down here. We got that done, so we're clear for the rest of the day. Let's see if we've got anything for Growler to eat. Uh, we have a steak. Uh, we can make some more steaks, too. I'm going to leave that sausage. Oops. Still haven't made anything since I set this fridge up here. Okay. Eat up, Growler. I'm going to have to... Sometime, I'll do it off, off air. I'll I have to go around and just look around and harvest all the stuff we're going to need to... Uh... Didn't I start that? I No, I guess I didn't start that going. Uh, oh, the stone dust. We need the stone dust still. Um, I'm going to have to go and harvest all the 
stuff we're going to need. We'll take half of that to uh, um, to get our seeds going. Okay, so let's see. Thirty-six. That's all we could make. Yeah. Let's see. How many are we gonna need? Let's see. Let's put the stuff in the fridge. That's good. Let's see, we're gonna have four times thirty-six. It should be exactly thirty-six. All right. So let's come back here. Stick this in here. And can I make? Come on. Thirty-six of these guys. Oh. Right. Uh, didn't actually need 500 of those, but I find it easiest just to set up as many as I can. All right, so let's start with this. All right, now, to, to try to explain what I'm doing here, um, yeah, I know, I didn't need to put the floor in since I was going to take it right back out again, but it, it helps to actually be able to build the room if I have the floor in place. Okay, that's the first section. Oh, no. So we will put these in, these in, these in. Okay, super. Um, so, as I was saying, I think the next big step to move forward uh, is going to be getting ourselves a small ship. And as you can see, we have no place to park a small ship out there. So my plan is to get a, a, a sick bay built. After we get the greenhouse going here, we'll get a sick bay built. And then we will um, get a, a power room built. And that area that we have all that stuff in right now is going to become part of the hangar. And I'll actually get that all neatly enclosed and everything, so it's not exposed to the elements when we're out there. Yeah, I know, there's rocks surrounding us. You wouldn't think we'd be exposed to the elements, but there you go. Okay, and this. As you can see, I've pretty much decided to follow the, the same design mechanics that I used in the, in the last base. It's underground and it's got the same sort of corridor and basic room design. Hopefully a little bit better than last time. You know, I've got more experience at it. There. So we'll have plenty of room. I'm thinking uh, only do like two rows of grain because the corn, two rows of corn, because the corn, we always seem to have a ton of it. And then maybe do a full nine of each protein and vegetables. And that'll leave us with four rows to put other stuff in. All right, so that's taken care of. Um, sick bay. So we're going to have to bust out of here. I just closed this off so that we'd actually be able to uh, have this enclosed and not have the weather affecting me every time I'm in the hallway. Okay, so I am going to extend this corridor out long, far enough for us to get uh, another two rooms in. Um, I don't know if I should... I don't know if I should put a cross corridor here. Make this sort of a plus shaped base. I sort of like that idea. Maybe I will. But I'm going to go ahead and get that started. And then I'll bring you back when I've got some of that done. So I was talking to someone recently. About building in this game. And they have told me they've not been able to figure out how to do building in this game. Ooh, am I going to have to take those lights out? We'll see. They get destroyed, they get destroyed. Nope, they're still there. Good, good, good. And I'm having to take these out because I realized I screwed up and didn't do these walls right. <laughs> Not if I'm going to do a, a plus type intersection here. 
So anyways, she didn't understand how to do building. So I want to take the time to actually show you guys how I'm doing this building. Oh, I didn't get the top row here. So I'm going to have to redo all the deco in these three rooms. No big deal, really, but slight pain in the bottom. Yeah, you know all about that. What was that supposed to mean? Whoops. Nope, nope. One little boop does so much damage. Usually I don't have any problem with it trying to keep going. Alright, so we've got our blocks here. So the first thing here is how I'm doing this here. If you look right here, oh, on the end, you can see the shape of that block. If you right click, you can select blocks. Here's the block shape I'm using. So now your insert and your delete keys. No, just your... No, yeah, yeah, it is insert and delete. Your insert and delete keys change which axis you're rotating, and then your home and your end keys actually do the rotating. So we're going to go with this one. We're going to take it all the way across to there. And then we're going to do the same thing right here. So on the inside of the rooms, it'll look exactly as it did, you know, when, you, when I just showed it to you guys just now. But on the outside, we're, we're getting this nice shape. And you can see also the shape of the block above. So we're going to come in here. I have to go here. And that's the shape we're using right there. So we need to change our rotation angle to that. I have to get my fingers in the right keys. Fill that in. And if you just click and hold, and then you can drag. There you go. And then I'm going to go to this one. And we can, whoops, rotate it around. And then we can go ahead and drag this all the way across here. Fill this in. And then we can drag it all the way across here. There. So that's the floor in the center of the room. Uh, should I make this corridor wider like we did on the other base? I think I will. I liked the wide corridor. So we'll go ahead and we'll put a second row of these. Do I really need the wide corridor? It's just me in here. Let's not. Let's not. Let's save ourselves some work. And then, of course, make some work by damaging another block. <laughs> Usually it's pretty good when, you, when you're taking something like that out. It stops before it goes on to do more damage. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and just put our end caps on here. Okay. There. So these will cap the end of our ends of our corridors. Uh, well, they would if there wasn't so much rock in the way. These will cap the ends of our corridors, so we, we won't have the weather in here. Uh, and those will, but those will be expansion places where we can expand in the future. Come on, let me let me build there. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Let's. There we go. Now, the two different sides are different, so, I mean, the greenhouse is a lot bigger than the workshop. So this side is going to be a sort of a short corridor, and that side's going to be a longer corridor. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Oh, shoot, I made another mistake. Hold on here. I forgot, I did not mean... That was actually part of the reason why I left this a plus shape here. And then this, we can do this there. Now put another door there. So we'll have two ways in and out of the greenhouse. And then this one here. 
go on the top. There we go. And then we have a doorway just like the other ones we've got. So we'll be able to come into the greenhouse from here as well as from that way. Uh, do I want to do the same thing with the workshop here? No, because I don't have a centered spot, so I'm just going to leave that the way it is. We won't have a second door going out of that. All right, let me finish this up, and we'll go on from there. Okay, I did a little measuring, uh, and standing here, we're about under our front gate, so I don't want to go any further forward. Because even though I've set this fairly deep, it, I, I'm just feeling like and I'm, I'm seeing sand as I dig the ceiling of this. So I'm feeling like we're getting too shallow here. So that's as far as we're going to go this way. Um, I don't know if I'm even going to try to go any further left or right. I might actually, when we do Growler's Apartment, maybe we'll go off that direction and put it on the other side. But we're ready now to start putting the finishing touches on things. First things first, I want to get the doors in. Uh, and I want these doors. So I think that one is going to be our power room. This one will be for CPU and stuff when we need to do that. It'll probably be Garaler's temporary bedroom uh, until, uh, until we get his permanent place built. And uh, this room down here will be his uh, our, our sick bay. So they're all the rooms are sort of long and narrow like this, but just should work out fine for all of them because of you know what we're going to put in each room. I would like to have had them deeper, but you know we're going to get what we're going to get. So we'll be able to go in. We can have stuff here on the right. We can have stuff on the back wall. And we can have stuff here on the left. So there should be plenty of room for all the stuff we need. Now the last bit I need to do, um, and actually let's go ahead and do our painting first. Okay, we're going to start with the floor, in which case I want this texture, because that's what I've been using on these floors so far. Now all you do with this is you right click, and select your texture you're going to use. Uh, select color if you're going to make it a different color. And then just paint. Yeah, that's right. And this, we'll go ahead. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I think the bottom will be different, but we'll see. Okay. Whoa, are these all... Yeah, all of a sudden we got switched in direction. How did that happen? Arg. I didn't notice that it got switched in direction. Okay, that's all correct. That one's wrong. That one's wrong. That one's wrong. That one's wrong. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now the bottom is going to be this texture here. See, not too complicated to do all this. Just run along painting. And it doesn't really take very long to do either. See, how would that look if I put that there? Stupid. Okay, I think we will go ahead and stick with that. I think that'll work for now. And what do we have the ceiling here? Uh, yeah, I don't think uh, we didn't have to worry about doing anything special with the ceiling. This in the center here is going to be all these textures. 
Okay, and then wherever there's a door, we're going to do the same thing. It's so right there. Right there. And then, yeah, that's what I thought. We use this for above the doors. Going vertical. And did I get these? Looks like it. All right, now let's go ahead and get our center decorative bit on. As you can see we've got, so that neatly textured bit there, that's here in this section. It's this one here. I'm going to just change it to the red rotation. And there we go. Now I think I want to go ahead and switch that back to that one for now before I forget about it. And we're going to put these in everywhere except where we got the doors. And then we should just have to rotate that one. There we go. And then we'll go back to painting. And these are this. Shoot. <laughs> Well, I screwed that up, didn't I? Okay. So that's good. I want to go ahead and get these ends. Then we can get the other ones. Then what I'll do in these uh, center areas, where we've got... I can hear one of the little bugs above us. Where we've got uh, the doors, I will put lights in, just like I've done... Oh, I didn't put lights in here. That's right, because I'm getting enough light from the rooms, I decided not to worry about it. Might change back here. Maybe at least in the, in the intersection, maybe put one light in. But yeah, this isn't too bad light-wise. It's a little bit dark back here, but this is going to be a corridor we don't go in too much. So hopefully one light here in the center will be enough. If not, then, you know, I'll put some more lights in. But all right, so that's that's all of that decorated. Um, you can see, you know, there's, you know, time off camera where I'm just going through and doing stuff. Oh, wait, we didn't get to all of it. There we go. We need... where is it? It's not that one, it's this one. Okay, here we go. Oops. Yes, sometimes these blocks will rotate weird directions and then... Ah! And uh, when they do that, then things get a little strange. Got one more down here to do. There. Now it's all painted. Uh, right here in this in this intersection area, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um wait a minute. Let's see, let's maybe let's do something different here. What about if I did this? Rotate it there. Why? Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do something different there. That's not what I wanted anyways. What about this? Uh, no. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. Uh, I This is not the block I meant to put in there. Uh, hang on. Let's go ahead and take these out. So I sort of forgot myself there. Alex, okay, it sounds like we got a storm going outside. Oh, right here. Uh, I think it's this block. Yeah. probably help if I had the right axis set. 
Yeah, that's what I had done before. And then take this and this. Try to rotate that up. There. There. So that looks a lot better. Then I think... No, I don't like that. I don't like the way that looks. Uh, can we... Do that. Come on. I don't like this on the bottom, though. What if we tried this one? That's pretty good. Yeah, I think it, this gives it a nice column look. There we go. There we go. That's much nicer. Much nicer indeed. All right, we are out of time for today. Uh, sorry if this was uh, slow for some of you, but like I said, I had uh, I had uh, uh, a friend who was not confident about how to build in this game, so I thought I would do a little building demo uh, episode. Um, and I don't know if I finished what I was saying earlier. The whole purpose of this, we're going to get... We can now get all of this stuff out of here, all of this stuff out of here, and then I'm going to open all of this up and make this a big hangar area. So we're going to have room for probably two more vehicles in here, maybe uh, maybe even three or four more if we if we are careful about it or dig out that we can dig out that direction more. Um, and uh, I'll get this all enclosed with the roof and everything, so we won't be getting radiation out here. And then, hopefully, in the next episode, we will have our greenhouse going and everything, and we can work on building our first SV. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.